Hey guys, it's Brandy. I'm here to talk about uh, the Great Lakes Mega Meet that they had up in Novi, Michigan this weekend. And then I also have a few other things to share. So, uh, first of all, I'll start to share with this. Um, my mom got this sign for me for Mother's Day. It says, life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Develop from the negatives. And if things don't work out, take another shot. So, I absolutely love this saying. So, she got this sign for me. I believe it's from Hobby Lobby. And so, this will be going up into my craft room. Up on the wall. So, I'm super excited about that. Um, another thing. One thing I want to share mainly about why I got on here was uh, to share about the Mega Meet up in Novi, Michigan. Uh, it was so much fun. This was the first time I ever went. First time I ever met uh, any of the bigger crafters. And uh, let me tell you, they were so nice. Um, it was pretty awesome. My husband took me. He's tri quite the trooper. Um, drove all the way up to Novi, Michigan, which is about like two and a half hours away from here. My mom watched our daughter so that we could take this trip. Uh, that way she's not stuck in the car for that long and then just being bored. So she got to spend time with Grammy. So, um, while I was there, I ran into, like, when I first walked into the doors where the, um, vendors were, I seen, uh, Crafts by Two, Ken and George, the two guys, uh, I know them as the the cricket guys, uh, right along with Melody Lane. Uh, but I uh, just seen George and Ken, and I went up to them and said hi and uh, asked them if they were the Crafts by Two guys, and then asked if I could get a picture. And they were super nice. Um, and I felt really weird. I felt like I was this really nerdy like fan, and so like I didn't want to keep them too long. And I just I don't know. I felt weird. So I think maybe next time I'll chat a little more, but I just, I don't know. To me, they're like celebrities. So, like, I've also seen Tim Holtz, which was the main person I went and seen, wanted to see. So I got a picture with him, which I will share the pictures uh, with all these crafting celebrities at the end of the video. But um, I was so excited. Like, this was, like, the best weekend ever. Like, I had a blast. So, um, but yeah, I, I talked to them for a bit, and they drove clear from New York to stay up there, and they had been there for all, the whole weekend. Uh, they have all sorts of classes, like a ton of classes, uh, for people to take, uh, for their crafting, and then they have a big room set up to where you can scrapbook all day, uh, crop and stuff like that. So that's awesome, and of course all these cost a fee, um, most of these cost money, um, and it's $10 a person to get into the uh, vending, the sh showroom where they have all the vendors and stuff. And then parking is like $5. So it was like $25 for us all together to get in. But um, definitely one of these years I hope to take some classes um, and learn about all these different techniques and everything. And how to use the products a different way. So, um, definitely something to look into. If you're a big crafter, the Mega Meet up here in Michigan is pretty awesome. This was the first time I ever went, so I was so excited. Um, I got jealous because last year my friend posted a picture of her and Tim Holtz. I'm like, oh my god, you met Tim Holtz? I didn't know he came to, like, Novi, Michigan. So, I was super stoked about that. So, um, my husband took me this year, and, um, while we were there, we got there, and I seen the Crafts by Two guys, got a picture with them, chatted with them for a little bit. And then I was walking around the floor, mainly looking for, like, Tim's booth, but also to see if I've seen anyone else there, because Crafts by Two Guys it totally took me by surprise of uh, them being there, because they're from New York, and I don't even think they would travel that far, but Tim Holtz travels from Arizona, too. I, I believe that's from where he's from. So, um, found Tim's booth, and he was there demoing. So, um, he was there crafting, and I got to watch him craft for, like, five or ten minutes and we got there at the perfect time because then uh he uh wa decided to take a break for like an hour and then he would come back and demo some more so everyone dispersed and then I got to ask him a question which hence the archive links on why I got those um asked him like what type of ink I could use to stamp onto alcohol inks on like upo paper and stuff because I've used memento ink and it just smears uh, so he said archival is the way to go, so my husband made me 
buy these, the complete set. You got the complete set, the three packs, and then you got the ten for free. So that was the Stampers Anonymous booth. Um, that was a deal that they had going. So, and I didn't know that they had so many Stampers Anonymous stamp sets until I seen that booth. And it blew me away. I couldn't believe there was so many. So I'll be going through those in the book, too, so you guys can see what kind that they have. And I guess they never retire them, someone said. So, anyways, um, a girl asked him for a picture, so I'm glad she did because I probably would have chickened out. But, uh, yeah, he went ahead and he said, yeah, he could get her a picture. But he had he was finishing up uh, doing whatever he was doing before the next demo. And then uh, he went and got her a picture. And then um, I asked if I could get a picture. So he got a picture with me. And then he apologized to my husband because uh, my husband, of course, is going to be uh, exposed to his videos and hear his voice and everything, which is funny because my husband knows Tim's voice. That's how often I watch his videos. Every time he comes out with a new release and everything, I'm always there watching. So, um, yeah, it was just quite funny. And then they're like regular guys, like they, obviously, but it was just really cool. Like they're, they interacted with their people, like their customers and just were really cool and laid back and really, really nice. Like, I got a picture with Mario, and Mario um, was also really cool and everything. And he was even running the register there in the booth. So that was really cool. It was just cool seeing them, like, in person, seeing them. I don't know. It was just really cool. So definitely something to check out. So um, I did get the archival inks so I can start stamping on my um, inked backgrounds for my alcohol inks. Um, cause I use a lot of those, um, which here's a background that I made. Uh, I actually cut it off in other backgrounds, so, like, it was a full sheet and I just cut it up. So, I'll be using the archival inks for that, so I'm excited about that. And then, we got the Stampers Anonymous catalog. And I mean, there are a ton of stamps, and I had no clue... That they had all these. And then this also has like their stencils and everything in it. And I'll show you guys my next stamp set I hope to get. It's coming up. But yeah, I would like to own more than a couple of these. Like, I only own a couple of them right now. But they're just so expensive, so I just haven't really looked or bothered but really cool sets and yeah like I said someone said that they never retire which is nice because some of Tim's stuff retires Where's my... I wonder if I passed it Nope, I haven't passed it yet. But yeah, so because some of his fonts and everything like that and his ideology stuff uh, expires, or not expires, but gets discontinued and then they don't sell it anymore. So, um, it was just really cool. But, um, and then uh, they had a whole bunch of different samples in their booth, which was really cool. Like, I've never messed with, like, making vignette boxes, but after seeing the samples, I almost want to. So, that's probably a bad thing. Oh, and I absolutely love that baby set. So cute. But, um, yeah, I might mess with the vignette boxes eventually, because they were really cool, the samples that they had. And I'll share in the video also pictures of the samples that they had in the booth, because I took pictures of those. I wanted to record there, but I just, I didn't get the time or anything like that to really do that, so. Right there, that entomo entomology set is what I want next. All the bugs. My daughter loves bugs now, so I think it would be really cool, and then to make cards with those. But yeah, and then those are all of the Stamp Anonymous stamps, like all these different sets. And then here's those, uh mini blueprints 
I have a few of those. Like I just use this one in a card. So definitely check out my Instagram because I do share a lot of my projects on there. I don't necessarily share them on a video. Um, if you guys would like to see more of my projects, definitely uh, let me know. Um, and I can get on and I could do like a project share and just go through what I made. I haven't necessarily recorded while I'm making them. But if you guys would like me to start doing it, I can. It's no big deal. Um, it's just nothing, something that I haven't done yet. So if you guys would be interested in that, definitely let me know. And then these things, these big old tags. It is so cool, like these like stacked sets and everything. Like how they create shelves and everything, which I've seen these in his videos. But seeing them in person, it was really cool to see these samples. So like, and they had shelves and they had like little glass bottles and little doodads on them and everything like that. So it was really cool to see those in person. It just makes me want to try it myself. Makes me want to buy everything, which is bad. So, and I only actually bought the inks and that's all I bought in his booth. And I didn't buy anything else throughout the entire event, which was really good for me because I was surrounded by supplies. So, and that's typically bad for me. But... They had tons of vendors there. They had Spellbinders. They had Echo Park. They had uh, a scrapbook magazine there. Um, it was a lot of fun, and you got to see a lot of vendors like that don't come to like the Fort Wayne show that I typically go to every year. Um, a lot of bigger vendors, so that was really cool. And here's all of the stencils. I owe, I own quite a few of these, but um, not a lot. So he has a lot of really cool stuff. And then he has the Stampers Anonymous Classics, which is cool. Stamp sets. So definitely really cool seeing everybody in person and seeing other crafters. And um, it was kind of cool. And I would love to stay up there for a weekend and uh, scrapbook all weekend and take some classes and all that stuff so that's one thing I hope to do maybe next year or maybe in the next couple of years when my daughter's a little older and everything so it'd be kind of cool so that's something I hope to do so if you guys have any more questions or anything definitely comment down below and if you would like to see more of my uh, projects that I've created and everything check out my Instagram it's Brandy Gabbert or it's Crafty, Crafty Reasons I think I have it under both um, and then I also share them on my uh, Facebook group, uh, Crafty Reasons, as well. So, um, I'm trying to, like, sell my cards and everything like that to get a little extra side money. Um, but uh, we'll see where it goes. If not, I'll, you know, it's whatever. But uh, definitely check those out. And if you guys would like me to share them on YouTube, definitely let me know. Alright, uh, stay tuned because I will be posting the videos here short, or the videos, the pictures here shortly of my trip and all of the pictures from the Stampers Anonymous booth and the pictures of who I got to see. I got to see Totally Tiffany too, so definitely stay tuned. Bye guys.